Howdy folks, how y'all doing out there? Welcome to Zucosis. It's a game I've been hyping for a long time for the channel. Horror game. I know, normally we stream these um, so that you guys can enjoy my terrifying... Well, terrified, not terrifying. I'm not scary. I am a chicken. And maybe I'm in the right place because it's a zoo. Petting zoo, maybe. Maybe that'd be lovely. A real nice petting zoo, just to stick me in it. I'd be great in there. Um, okay, but anyway, yeah, Zucosis. Um, I've been itching for this one, and maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. Basically, the story is, I think, anyway, from the trailer, um, which before weird. we begin, I want you to put down your scribble. My scribble, um, basically, I from the trailer, there's like a parasite that's going around the zoo. You're a zookeeper, um. And it's making the animals weird. I'm Paul Connolly, I guess. Uh, definition of confidential information. Any information obtained by the night zookeeper during his employment is considered confidential. Uh, night zookeeper undertake, uh, undertakes not to disclose confidential information to third parties during and after termination of contract uh, of employment. In the event of injury or death of the night zookeeper performing duties, the employer is not liable to his relatives or other lawful representative. That seems bollocks. Term of agreement, effective upon signing and is considered indefinite. The night zookeeper or his lawful representative agrees to not to involve the police or other law enforcement agencies regarding death, injury, or other events occurring during work at Pine Valley Zoo. I have a friend and I wonder if he had to similar size something Excellent. similar, or if it's you just this one. The right move. Just a couple Did I? More things and you'll pull your family out of poverty. I really hope so. <laughs> Attach this to your chest. Our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosures. Okay. Scientists. I thought this was a zoo. True. Never thought that the smart Alex belong right in the zoo. <laughs> hope you got the joke. Excellent. Now let's no, get started. I'm too scared. Just grab your personal PDA. It's necessary for interacting with all the work objects. Congratulations, you've taken the first step to becoming a part of our close knit zoo family. Wait, what's this for? You'll find out later. Well, I don't love that. Well, maybe it's like for flu. Maybe they. Are you dragging me by the feet? Are you finally awake? Good. Get up. It's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't want to bring some kind of infection home, would you? By the way, I took your phone as well. I'll return it in the morning after the shift. So I got the job? I thought we had an interview. My wife is waiting for me outside. The job will be yours if you make it through the night. Let's go. I still have a lot to show you. My wife's waiting outside for me? Oh. I don't love that. Oh, it's, it's from a body cam, isn't it? So that's why that's doing that. Okay. I don't like it, but I do. I love it. It's scary as fudge. I don't... I'm not a big fan of that. And that's why it's good, right? Is this my bedroom? Did, did I do that? Man, I must have eaten some nasty ass tacos. Is that my outfit? Ooh. Head in a box. Someone else's box. Okay. Not not for me yet. Can I have the axe? Just to be on the safe side. In case I don't have to chop up the animal's food. Gadget trolley. Okay. Hurry up. There's no supplies. Ooh. Oh, but press the space bar and I pulled that up. I wonder if it's like, is this going to be Five Nights at Freddy's S where there's, you know, it's Survive the Night? Here. Yep. This is our hub. You'll have plenty of everything here. Except time. Now we're in the cold room. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and fish while the meat gets ground into portions we're in America, for the then. animal rations. And right now we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. 
Uh, load two herbal and one vegetable bricks into the brick trolley. Okay. So do I just... I push it, do I? Am I supposed to wait for you forever? No, just sod off, mate. Right, vegetables. Uh, two herb. Can I take two, or do I, I can only take one? I do have limits to my patience. Most of the bricks Suck a dick. left as a reserve. And take these ones with you. It's time to show you our workhorse. Okay. Will more, will more come on to the 20? Should I pull that? Just says topped up, you know? Oh, okay, cool. Do I actually get to, because if I get to feed the animals as well, I'm happy with that. What was that? There's something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. Okay. And here's our K-A-T-I-E, Kinetic Automated Transport with Innovative Engineering. Katie will take you around the zoo. How big is this game? This is the refrigeration compartment. You need to load the brick trolley here. Until you load it here, Katie won't budge. To load the okay. brick trolley, you need to activate the lever. We'll do. I must want to sit next to it. Okay, cool. Giraffe enclosure. Ooh. We have tons of toys. Where do I select the giraffe enclosure? Gadget trolley. I'm guessing this is the front then. Giraffe enclosure. I do have limits to my patience. What have we got there? Giraffe, wallaby, gorilla, penguin, zebra, moose, hippopotamus, elephant. No lions. Interesting. Let's go. What what one of these mean on that? Good. Ooh. So we're at the giraffe station. Uh, Listen carefully, I won't repeat it twice. This is okay. our mobile veterinary station. Here you'll be mixing medications for our animals. Are they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens, so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question. Take Absolutely. It seriously, and we should all be safe for another day. Follow me. What? This is our another kitchen day. factory. To collect feces for tests, you have to feed the animal its favorite food. Here's where you'll prepare it. Choose the recipe from the list. Cut, mix, and you're done. Any questions? Yes. Excellent. The zoo needs those who aren't afraid to ask. But even more so, it needs those who find answers themselves. All right, enough chit-chat. Go to the cutting table. Bear food for you giraffe. Select the giraffe from the list. For giraffe. Uh, press uh, on the cook button to go to the slicing screen. Okay. Uh, click on the cut button to slice herbs. Don't make cut. a mistake with the weight. The exact measurement is displayed on the weight indicator. Measure carefully. How need to cut off 3.5? I mean, that looks like that's the total weight, though. I mean, so theoretically, then I should just. That looks like half. That's not enough, Paul. Add more. Excellent, Paul. Cut. Now do the same with the herbal brick from the recipe. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Where was it meant to say? Total weight is three, so there. 
I mean, that was a guess. We don't want anything. 5% of 20%. What? Perfect. Now, I didn't see it tell me. Did... Trolley. What? No, really... now drag the trolley to the gates. Okay. Can I push? Pushing's better for your back. going through tough times. How would I know? I'm just a simple man. Clock in and clock out. How long have you been working here? Long enough to teach you everything. Come on, move the trolley. This is the entrance I to think the we had, I'm already thinking open that this guy would be scary if he was chasing me. The into the enclosure terminal and select open enclosure. No added. Treating animals. It seems the job is harder than I thought. Do I have to make the meds? If you deviate too much from the recipe, the animals will get sick. The risk isn't very high, but it's best not to break the recipe. After observe the behavior of animals, leukosis can manifest itself in strange actions and weird. Okay. What does this one say? When you carefully examine the bodies of the animals with scars, scars indicate that something is wrong with the animal. Uh, right, what am I doing? Welcome to the giraffe enclosure. Before leaving, make sure that all the symptoms are detected. How do I know that? Now we need to feed our little creatures. Take the bucket and dump the food in the feeding area. Okie dokie. Oh, hello! Hi! You have two... Oh, no, there's two of you. Hello! Where's the feeding area? Is this the feeding area? Where be it the feeding area? That's strange. You're looking great, aren't you? Oh, this is awesome! Um, feeding area. Nice. Here you go. Have your food. Where's the third one? There's three, isn't there? Return the bucket to the gadget trolley. Yeah, where's the third giraffe, though? No giraffe. Great. Now put on the MFE. What's that? Mobile fecal extractor. In well, some other terms, a shit sucker. You've eaten shit before. <laughs> now you're going to suck it. I don't know. Why do we need all this? We need to constantly monitor the health of the animals. And taking right. extra tests is one of your key tasks. A hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. Come on. Where, where is the shit? Where be the shit? Oh, wait a minute, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, so that is that how I can pick up two items then? Oh, there's the shit. I found the shit. Great, I've collected the shit. Getting paid 100 grand. Collect shit. Don't mind talking like this, to be perfectly honest with you. It's, I mean, it's a bit of an odd enclosure, I will say. Hey guys, you got any shit back here? Anyone been shitting? No shitting? Are you guys good? Are you healthy? How do I know if you're healthy? Can I pet you? 
Oh, I can pet you. Pet an animal for the first time. Oh, I can pet you. I want to pet a gorilla. I feel like the gorilla will eat me, but you know. Any more shit? Or is that it? Can I pet you? Hi! Why oh, you got such a long neck? I mean, obviously you're a giraffe. That's a really stupid thing to say. More shit. I mean, I feel like there should be three doses of shit, right? There's more shit. There we go. Yeah, it was three doses of shit. I was correct. Okie dokie. Put the shit back. I want to spray the shit all over you. I really do. Now take the TIS. To avoid unnecessary questions, it's a thermal imaging system. You could just call it a thermal imager. It's needed to determine the body temperature of our animals. Where would that be? Oh, this. Now install it and measure the temperature of the giraffes. Measure temperature of all giraffes. Are they all there? They are all there. One of them... One of them is rather bad. So that's bad. It's only a little bit bad, isn't it? What? Return TIS to the gadget trolley. As you can see, one of the giraffes isn't doing well. We need to make a dart with Temperalax. It's a medication for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. Yes. Okay. In the terminal, you can check all the analyses you've collected in this enclosure. So what's this then? So... Okay. I, mean, I wanted to draw me back. Do I have to make some medications too? Well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. Damn. How do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely lasted six months there. I got kicked out in the first year. No worries. That should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients following a ready made formula. <laughs> Maybe think of like a really, like a, I don't know what word I'm trying to think of, but like kind of Colonel Sanders, you know, maybe like a, a creepy Colonel Sanders or a slightly out to get you Colonel Sanders. Congratulations, Paul. You've just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. Now, go and load the collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be sterile. And don't forget to put the shit sucker back in its place. Alright, so put this into here. Parasite. As a parasite symbol if I ever saw one. Right, okay. So we did that. Then we did that. And then I can go back inside. How are you already... Are you already in here? Oh. Why are you so jumpy? Now you need to load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the car. The fuck was that about? Excellent. Now this is our mobile vet station. To make temporal acts, you need to load the station with enough vials. I did it this time, but in the future you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. But okay. keep in mind, chum, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. Okay. Do you not like your smile? So when I look away from you, you stop smiling. Look. Look at his face when I'm not looking directly at him. A scowl or whatever you got going on there. Okay, it's kind of odd. Ready for you to like just grab my neck? I don't know. 
Temperlax. Create. Dart is ready. Perfect. Now take the dart from the dart dispenser. I'm trying to do that. Oh, it's that. Cool. You've got Temperlax. Now load it into the veterinary gun. It's in the gadget trolley. Is it? Gadget gun. Uh. How do I? Okay. How do I load it? Now there. The only thing left okay. is to dart the sick giraffe. With a high temperature. Okay, cool. The sick giraffe ball. Be careful. Don't shoot. Bow with Poe. Which? Hmm. Why can't I go in storage? Poe. I was the one who's sick. How do I know which one you are? Uh, you are Bo. You are still Poe, right? Yeah, Poe. Wait, what's this? You have a countdown timer. So how long you're asleep for? Probably, yes. Oh, hiya. Yeah. Ran into your legs. Uh, heal a sick animal for the first time. That's cool. Bye, guys. Love ya. See you later. Ooh, hiya. Yeah. What's this? Place cash in front of the animal. Stop measuring temperature. Use data while I recover it. Okay. Why is there, like, work materials and stuff in here? You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Anyway, close that one off. I haven't been eaten by anything. They are very heavy. They are very heavy duty on the old uh, security, aren't they? Don't have actual bullets. You read all those notes later. So uh, but this seems like back it. there. I did this for the first time. Hopefully he'll get better soon. Well, don't doubt that. We need to get back to the hub. Okay, cool. Hub. Let's go. Okay. It's time to leave you alone with our lovely zoo facilities. Ready? What about the the door that you know bangs? Nice. is entitled to a service car. This one's mine. If you perform well tonight, you'll get one in the morning. Is that your wife? Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think she'll figure it out and go home soon. As you wish. You're, not gonna, up, Paul. you're not gonna tell her? Mess up. She stood out there in the rain, dude. an ass complete the tutorial right well that's cool Paul you entered here who knows how long ago you're not answering calls I'm worried what why Lily sweetheart sorry didn't hear you right away. Everything's okay. They put me on probation, but I had to start immediately. You should just go home. 
I'll be back in the morning and tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. And all I have to do is feed and treat the animals. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away. What? I'm gonna take all of this stuff. Am I, am I just robbing a brick of meat? I'm rather confused. By girls, do you mean... Are they animals? A meat brick for Lily in the parcel drop box. Okay. It seems very strange. Lily, are you here? Yeah. Take this. Give Gina a kiss from Daddy. It's time for me to work. think that's weird here's a meat brick okay well you know if no one else is suspicious right check the enclosures uh, check the next enclosure check the enclosure feed the animal collect analysis measure temperature submit blood and all that good stuff um, so what's the next enclosure Okay, right, you're not gonna, you know, you're a piece of shit. Uh, on th this on here, uh, giraffe, is it gorilla? Herbal one, vegetable 2.5. Penguins like fish. I'm sorry. What eats meat? Also, I can't get, I. Why can I not get meat again? Right. Okay. Anyway. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. One. Some seconds. Sorry. I'll try and get this all set up. Um. Put that on there. I'm gonna take another one of that. Put it on that one. And another one of that. And put it on that one. Just because I'm sorted out. It's like, then it's like two blocks and it's all good. You know what I mean? Right. And we're good. And we put this up. So I've got a timer for like my um, episodes of this. Cause it'd be... What's that going to be? I mean, that's going to be meat in there, right? That's how we get meat blocks. Probably. Probably. Maybe I put, or maybe I put dead animals in there. Ooh, that's sad. It's a sad thought. Right. Okay. Next enclosure. Gorilla. Right. Wallaby. I haven't put any fish in there. I think I need the fish. Meds and cubes. Inspect the animals for symptoms. Create a cure by recipe. Donate blood. Ugh. Why would I do that? Uh, I gotta create food for the first, so don't I? Right, where am I? I'm wallaby. I'm wallaby in it. 
I have 5.7, I need deviation 20%, remove food. Right, cut off, okay. Animals can vomit if you deviate from the recipe. Okay, anyway, two point, I need two. So total weight is 5.7. Much as that. So that's. Ooh, I need to cut off 0 0.9. I'm, I'm really confused. Like, I thought it said, like. I don't fucking know. I've got no idea. Uh, right. That's about halfway. So that'd be 2.4. So I have one about there, I reckon. What's that? 1.9. That's not bad at all, right? Sorry, that was my alarm for... Whatever. Uh, I need one kilogram of the other one. So... 4.5. So that's... That would be 2.25. So half of that is 1.15. So about... There. Ooh, 1.4. That's quite a big difference. Can I not cut again? Ah, oh, fine, it's fine. Deviation is acceptable. Cook it. Not what's this? Fuck it, it's full remove food before cooking. Whatever. Uh so come out of this. Uh what's that? Flashlight. What the hell are these things? Blood syringe. Right, anyway, let's go feed the animal. No, no, put it back on a thing. Put it back on a thing. What the fuck was that noise? I know. Thank zookeeper Paul Connolly. Oh, thank God! Finally, uh, please hey, Linda. hang up. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. He's a scientist, Clarence J. Summers. People usually call him CJ. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm here alone. Please check for me. He should be in the lab. Uh, is there a lab here? Oh, well, I understand. You're new. Then, one last request. Look in his locker in the break room. Code 1768. Ma'am, this doesn't feel right. Paul, I'm begging you. CJ needs to take his medication regularly. I just want to make sure he has them with him. Just open the locker. That's all. I'll call back. Okay, 1768. Is that a note? Do I get a note for that? Or do I have to just remember that? Uh... Not sure if I should help this woman. I already have enough problems as it is. That's nice of you. Well, I'm not going to do it right now, so... Oh, is it this one? I just saw something horrible. I shot lethal dart, but one wasn't enough. It took it around 300 milliliters, but it worked. Fuck, it worked. I'm alive. What the fuck did you see, dude? He said break room, didn't she? So 1768. Right, anyway. Um. Is that the noise that wallabies make? That doesn't sound good. Poorly. I don't love the fact that they just stood there waiting for me. Hello. Hi, guys. Where's your food enclosure? 
A wallaby's really that fucking big? Come on guys, tuck in. Um, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do this at the same time. Because you're all eating. It seems like a good time to do this. Don't go away, Wally. One. Two. Three. You guys make some weird noises. Penny. A scam penny? Hi Penny. You guys make some freaking weird noises. I need that poop as well. Let me do that. Uh, there. Uh, this. Right, where's the poop? Where be is the poop? There's some poop. That's the poop. Yummy, yummy poop. You need hot poop. We're just gobbling up all the poopage. Uh, more poop. A little bit of poop. What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Someone who knows what these animals sound like. Is that like... Are they okay sounds? They don't sound like okay sounds. Hello. We're good. I think there's anyone ill in here. I'm not collecting all the poop though, have I? Play analysis. Measure the sound. Submit blood. Okay. How do I measure the sound? Bit confused, I'll be honest. You guys do not look okay. You guys are throwing up a lot. Like, is that normal? Measure the sound. Submit blood for analysis. Submit feed procedure for analysis. I haven't got a blood sample. Should I get a blood sample? I guess so. Right. This episode's going on a bit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the end to this one here. Um, I already admittedly feel slightly weird by this one. Um, is it Sally? There you go. Thank you, Sally. Can you take a little blood sample? Thank you, Sally. You guys are throwing up a lot. Yo, yo, Ray. There you go, Ray. Or whatever your name is, I don't know. It's black in that blood. What one are you? Penny. 
I don't think I've done Penny yet. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode off here. Um, it's a bit of a weird game. I mean, I feel really bad about the wallabies because I feel like they're dying or something because the noises they're making, it's not good. Why, why are you blue? Yeah, the noises they're making are not good. They're not good noises. Um, submit, vote for analysis, submit species for analysis. Okay, I can do those things. Um, yeah, I need to submit blood for analysis, also the feces for analysis, and I think I'm going to end that one off there for today. Okay, because I don't really know what the hell I'm doing yet. But we'll get there. We'll get to the scares, we'll get to the frights. All good. Lots of love, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.